This week at Interior. A historic settlement agreement reached this week that would end a 25-year legal battle between the United States and more than 600 Native American tribal entities. If approved by the federal district court, the settlement would provide for $940 million to resolve claims that the federal government contracted with tribes to run programs, but did not pay the full amounts required by law. Secretary Jewell calling the landmark settlement the latest step in the Obama administration's efforts to turn the page on past challenges in our government-to-government relationship with tribes. As wildfires continue to burn actively across the drought-stricken West, the U.S. Department of Agriculture this week transferred an additional $250 million to suppress fires, and Secretary Vilsack, Secretary Jewell, and White House Office of Management and Budget Director Donovan continued their call for Congress to change the way the nation pays for wildfire costs. In a letter sent to Congress, Jewell urged Congress to treat catastrophic wildfires like the natural disasters they are, stopping the perennial problem public land managers face as they're forced to spend prevention and recovery funding to fight fires, increasing fire risk, and putting communities at risk. Another important step in offshore wind this week as the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management concluded an environmental review allowing the Bureau to move forward with considering a possible renewable energy lease sale offshore North Carolina all part of the president's climate action plan to cut carbon pollution, create jobs, and develop domestic clean energy sources. For more information, visit BOEM.gov. And good news for the rabbit that inspired Peter Cottontail. It's no longer headed for extinction, thanks to a public-private conservation effort spanning multiple states. Secretary Jewell joined U.S. Senator Gene Shaheen, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Director Dan Ash, and Natural Resources Conservation Service Chief Jason Weller to announce the New England cottontail has been saved from needing protections under the Endangered Species Act. The secretary said it was yet another endangered species success story and a great example of how proactive conservation across a landscape can benefit not only a species, but other wildlife and people who rely on healthy New England forests. That's this week at Interior.